What's up you guys, After Show Reacts here and today I'm going to be reacting to some more Stargate Atlantis. This is Season 1, Episode 9. Let's get into the episode. There's the gate. Dial it up. Wait, the energy readings here are exactly the same as they were a mile away. So? I really think we should stay for a while. I thought you hated wearing these suits. I do, I'm incredibly uncomfortable. These energy readings are amazing. It's like it's coming from all around us. And yet you cannot explain it. Not yet. You can't figure out a way we can use it? Not yet. All right. Then let's call it a mission. Wait, 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 wait. There's such thing as pure science. Not everything has to be immediately useful. You talked me into coming here because you thought those energy readings indicated the presence of a civilization. There are no buildings, no people, no nothing. Just fog. It's not technically fog. There's no actual water vapor in the atmosphere. I mean, you know, for that matter, I don't think we need to wear the hazmat here. Now you tell me. Dial the gate. move out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. You wanted useful? When the wormhole connected, there was a wild fluctuation in the energy field. I mean, if, if I'm reading these numbers right, it, it looks like the, the, the gate is actually drawing power from the atmosphere. So? So? I mean, to the best of my knowledge, this field goes on for miles. I mean, for all we know, it envelops the entire planet. We're talking about a lot of energy here. How much is a lot? Well, in terms of joules or ergs. In terms of lots? Lots and lots. Well, enough to open a wormhole back to Earth. <laughs> ZPM levels. So how easy will it be to put that thing in the other DHD? The Atlantis' DHD is unique. It's not like there'll be an empty slot waiting for us to plug it in. Meaning? Meaning that there may be some disassembly required. You want to take the DHD apart? I'll put it back together again. Do you not run the risk of disabling the other Stargate? Only if I screw up, which is extremely unlikely. 840 years. What? That's how long it will take us to come get you by puddle jump. <laughs> but you would do that, right? Of course we would. Well, it won't be necessary. However, I may require some assistance. Major? Lieutenant? Yes, sir. Surely you can go through a Stargate that's kind of close to this one, instead of traveling to get him. Atlantis, this is McKay. Go ahead. We're ready to begin work on the uh, DHD. You're sure about this, Rodney? Positive. Next time you hear from us, we'll be delivering the good news. Good luck. Back in time for supper. All right. Major Shepard, have we heard back from Dr. McKay? Not yet. Word of the discovery has already spread throughout the base. I've noticed. It is to be expected, of course, faced with the prospect of being reunited with loved ones, returning to familiar ground. Yeah, I'd love to go back. You would consider leaving Atlantis? Just wish I knew I could gate back here, then I'd go in a heartbeat. It would be wonderful to see your world. You could help me with the briefing. I would like that. Hey, you know more about the Pegasus galaxy than anyone. And then there's all those cool Earth things I talked about, football, Ferris wheels. Do you remember the last of the popcorn we ate? We could get more. If we knew we could return. Unscheduled activation. It's a radio transmission from Dr. McKay. I'm done. Components installed in the DHD, and as you can see. Well done. Uh, sorry, what about the energy readings? Uh, same as before. All indications are that the uh, gate's drawing power from the atmosphere, and there's enough for an eight Chevron lock. Okay, you stay put. We're on our way. So, are we uh, ready? Sir, to be ready for. Well, it's just sort of a, a big moment, and I thought we had been in contact for some time. We're ready. We... Go ahead. Please work. Stargate Command, this is Dr. Elizabeth Weir of the Atlantis Expedition. Do you read? I repeat, this is Dr. Weir. Come in, please. This is Sergeant Harriman of Stargate Command. Whoever you are, this better not be a joke. No joke, Sergeant. I'm sending my personal IDC for confirmation. Sorry about that, Dr. Weir. We're just a little surprised to be hearing from you. Understandable. The iris is open and clear to come through. Thanks, but we're not ready to risk a one-way trip. You don't understand, Doctor. Things have changed around here. The Asgard are in the process of fitting Prometheus with engines capable of reaching other galaxies. We were mounting a mission to find out what happened to you. Never heard this before. Are you serious? Yes, ma'am. Come through now and you could be back in Pegasus inside of a month. Well, <clears throat> who's going? Welcome back to Earth. We 
are you doing here? There are those who believe it would be prudent to cut our losses and abandon the Pegasus galaxy altogether. General, you can't... We're talking about a race that defeated the ancients. Over its years in operation, Star Command has encountered a number of threats that could well have brought about the destruction of this world. I thought he had a, like that a whole different role now. That never to send teams through the gate, General. By the time SG-1 had returned from their first mission, the damage had already been done. We'd alerted the ghoul to our presence, and shutting down operations wouldn't have changed that. And that's the same for the, the, the other. Would we have a choice. No. So we're just going to turn tail and run. The Pentagon would prefer to call it a strategic withdrawal. But how can we be sure they won't come after us? Oh, she's right, General. They feed on human life forms. Now they know there's a smorgasbord waiting for them here. I don't think we have a choice. We need to continue to explore the opportunities for technological advancement Pegasus Galaxy has to offer. And not to mention our responsibility to the other humans who live there. Responsibility? We did wake up the Wraith. And while, yes, that would have happened eventually without our interference, our access to ancient technology puts us in a unique position to help those people. We can't just walk away. Rest assured, your recommendation will be given consideration at the highest level. You were very thorough, Major. Thank you, sir. In fact, by now, I thought you'd be enjoying some well-deserved r and I was just going to arrange some transportation, sir. I'll consider taking care of it, Major, anywhere you'd like. Very generous. You've done your country a great service, son. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. I can't help but feel confused. I really don't like that they've used the same actor. My God. When did you... I missed you. You have no new messages. Huh, must have been a power failure or something. Thank you, Major. You're welcome. I have traded in many marketplaces on many worlds. Countries. But... Yes, of course. Countries. But here, there are so many different items to choose from. Yeah, you seem like you're having fun. Hours and hours of fun. But she had picked out a nice outfit. Thank you. I wonder, if we had never suffered the Wraith, would my people have created a civilization such as this? I'm starting to wonder about a few things myself. What? Nothing feels wrong to you. Something I feels mean off. Thing. I mean, everything. I do not understand. Could you take us to the Green Moss Park area? I think I'll have a better idea of what's bothering me once we get there. Something feels a bit weird, right? Hey, Sedge. Did you miss me? I don't know how many times I watched that damn tape you left. When you told me you were going away, I couldn't say where. My first guess was Korea. My second guess was Korea. To be honest, the Pegasus Galaxy didn't make my list. I am sorry. I imagine my security clearance doesn't let you tell me what you've been doing while you were there. I'll take this with you. It's beautiful. It's nice. Thank you. No, I'm sorry, just when you kiss me. What are you talking about, Elizabeth? Hello? General, what? Yes, I understand. Thank you. Oh, hey. <coughs> I have a, have a, sorry. I'm a power nap, and uh, I'm, I'm not wearing any pants. I didn't even think you knew where I lived. Air Force. Right. Uh, look, I can't um, really. Um, I have a date with a girl in 302. Rodney? I know. I'm trying to pawn my cat off on a neighbor and I end up with that. What? I just got a call from General Hammond. There was an accident on the playing field. We can't go back to Atlantis.
I was just gonna come home, unwind, get a good night's nice rest, and come back refreshed, ready to start work on a solution. But now we're going to hit me, like Archimedes in the bathtub, Eureka, except I wasn't in the bathtub. I was on a couch watching a, a very strange outer limit. Why is no one asking where where O'Neill is? How to establish a wormhole connection back to the Pegasus galaxy. Because he's the one that's supposed to be in charge here. Depleted, it's of no use. Actually, that's not entirely true. See, the last time we used it, the Zephyr had to establish and maintain a wormhole back to Atlantis. This time around, all we need for it to do is to have enough energy to establish the briefest of connections. By my calculations, approximately 3.5 microseconds. You'll forgive me, Doctor. This all seems a little far-fetched. Well, think of it like making a long-distance call to someone you know is going to accept the charges. All you have to do is dial. I'm sorry, Doctor. Well, you're not going to lose anything by letting me try, are you? All I want to do is run a couple of tests. All right, I'll have the ZPM delivered to the lab. Oh, yeah. Just like I left it. So much space for just one person. Well, guys got to have a lot of space. I bet there's still a... Uh... Nice and cold. And this is... It's called beer. And it's gross. <laughs> is all this for recreation? Yeah, I got pretty much everything you can imagine, don't I? What is it? I was just thinking again about Dr. Weir and everyone else on Atlantis. Of course. I'm sure she's fine. Right. As I see. Sure all fine. These guys think they're the only ones that came through. Weir thinks that she, she and Rodney are the only one that went through. Uh, and uh, Ford. Do people have those test results for me yet? We need more time. What are you talking about? Let me see what you got. I think. Well, I'm so confused. What is this? Some kind of a joke? I told you we need more time. These don't even make any sense. We don't think the ZPM has enough power to open the wormhole. Well, you wouldn't know that from this, would you? This might as well say bing tittle tittle bong. I mean, it's complete gibberish. Look, get out of here. I'll do it. Hey! <laughs> Mitch. Dax. You didn't really think you could pass through town without seeing us, did you, Shep? So you can invite us in or what? Uh, yeah, sure. What the hell? <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm Dax. I, I think this whole episode is just going to be me confused. Is there a problem? Elizabeth. Rodney needs to talk to you. Can it wait? No. Something is very wrong here. We're in a diagnostic on the ZPM. These are the results I keep getting back. I'm not a scientist, Rodney. Well, now there's anyone else around here, apparently. They're, Otherwise, they would have noticed the laws of physics. They're all in their own the worlds. Maybe there's a problem with your equipment. I checked. It's fine. Look, if your solution doesn't work, it's not your fault. We'll just have to accept the fact that we can't go back. What? Now look who's in the pizza delivery business. No, sir. I, I just caught the guy on the way up. I was just thinking about you. Why don't you come in? Looks like we are having a party. Yes. I got pizza. I've been relieved of my command. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. They're going to militarize Atlantis. Interesting. Well, it's bound to happen sooner or later. <laughs> what, so you're just okay with this? Elizabeth, how did you expect them to react when you told them about the rake? At the very least, I thought it'd be kept in the loop. Oh, now you're just being paranoid. Why don't you go home, spend some time with Simon? Simon? Yes, he's important to you, isn't he? Yes. I just don't remember ever telling you that. Well, how else would I have known? We didn't know what to think. This guy was supposedly one of the most ruthless warlords in Afghanistan, and suddenly he just sits down on our table. Sir, you gotta hear this story. Yeah, I was there, Lieutenant. Oh, yeah, you remember. Turns out, he just wants to practice his English on us. Shep spent half the night talking to this guy. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. He wouldn't even let you get up to go to the bathroom, remember? <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, two days later, you guys were killed outside Kabul. Let me see if I can make you understand, okay? These results don't just say the ZPM won't work. They say this reality isn't governed by any natural laws. It's like looking through a microscope at a cell culture and seeing a thousand dancing hamsters. It's impossible. Rodney, you need to calm down. No, no, what I need to do now is get very agitated because what I'm realizing is all of this is a lie. This, and this, and this. What are you saying? Their chopper took an RPG when it touched down for a medevac. There was barely enough left to bring back for a military funeral. What? You guys have been dead for years. Now, don't get me wrong. It's really nice seeing you. And you too, Ms. Watson. 
Sad, huh? She was my sixth grade teacher. And I don't even remember your name, but I remember you wouldn't even date me. Shep, I think we should take you to see a doctor. Oh, really? Yeah, you're acting pretty strange. <laughs> I'm acting strange, huh? The Rodney McKay I know would never accept the militarization of Atlantis without putting up a fight. And I don't think Major Shepard would agree to it either, at least not without speaking to me about it first. You shouldn't take it personally. I mean, think of it like a blessing. You have a life, you can get back to it now. Okay, no, I'm not buying this anymore. Who are you, really? Who am I? What do you mean? You shot me! You're already dead. Sir, give it. Beginning to have my doubts about you too, Lieutenant. I wouldn't put them to a test. Now, somebody explain to me what the hell is going on here. Dr. Weir? What is this? What's happening to me? There's no point in deluding you any longer. Now you know. See, this is just bothering me because no one mentioned only a little. Like, nobody mentioned that this, this was weird. Like, this was weird from the get-go. Where's Rodney? The real Dr. McKay and the rest of his team reside in their own illusory worlds. I want to see them. Please. Okay, so... What happened? Taylor and uh, Shepard were together. To the realities. I'm talking about the beer I had. Major Shepard discovered the truth some time ago. He did? Now, home for the last 11 months has been a research base in Antarctica. Although, I did dream about a bachelor pad like that. Major Shepard seemed uniquely capable of manipulating his own fabricated reality. Think about the scenarios I could have thought up, I'd kick myself. The realities you experienced were fabrications of your own mind. And since you had no memories of Earth to draw from, you shared in Major Shepard's illusion. Okay. I thought that was you. It is unfortunate that you all became aware so quickly. However, you may now create a fabricated reality of your own choosing in which to live out the remainder of your lives. What? <clears throat> That's not gonna work for us. I'm afraid the matter's beyond your control. Well, we'll find a way to fight you. That would be quite impossible, Major. Even now, you are simply experiencing a shared fabrication. It will be best if you try to make a life for yourself. This isn't life. What do you want us to do, just pretend? Wait, why would you do this? To protect ourselves. Unlike you, we exist in a non-corporeal form susceptible to the destructive effects of the Stargate on our home world. So the energy readings we picked up, they were life signs. You were in the mist. We are the mist, and every time the gate is activated, lives are lost. Oh. Over time, explorers have come and gone, completely unaware of our existence. Sacrifices are made to ensure our secrecy. But when you came back, we grew concerned. To learn your intentions, we had no choice but to enter your minds. When we discovered what you were about to do, we were forced to take preventive measures. But you just said you let others come and go. Why not allow us to do the same? Your desire to return to your home world was too strong. The amount of energy required to gate to another galaxy would have killed millions of our kind. So when we dialed the gate? You never dialed the gate, you just imagined you did. You are unconscious even now on the planet's surface. So none of this is real? Brunette. Of course, I should have known. I mean, how do you go from you're a pig, but I like your cat to I missed you? We lacked a sophisticated understanding of your world. As a result, the illusions we created from your thoughts were ultimately flawed. Well, the dead people were dead givers. <laughs> dead people. What were you doing? If you just told us, I mean, Whoa, maybe we wait. could. I just realized something. You're saying that our unconscious bodies are still on the planet? Yes. Yeah, well, so we need food. We need water. I mean, we need food. What he's saying is we won't live long in this state. Then I suggest you make the most of the time you have left. You're killing us in order to save yourselves. In order to save millions of our kind. I believe you would do the same. If we do not go back, our friends will come looking for us. Others of your kind? They'll show up. What are you gonna do, kill them too? The more will come. Sooner or later, they'll figure out how to access the gate. Then millions of your kind will die. We don't leave people behind. And if you were really General Hammond, you'd know that. But if you allow us to leave here, we promise we will never return, ever. You know, if you, you let us kill a couple thousand of you guys to go home. 
How can you make such a promise when you so desire to return home? We'd like to go home. We're not willing to kill millions of your kind to do it. Just Even a couple thousand to go back to Lotus. Right you should know we mean that. I understand. I don't mean to sound negative because that would be, you know, so not me. But uh, how do we know this isn't a double fake out? I mean, how do we know that this is... Uh... This is your reality. You have my word. Thank you for trusting us. Again, letting us kill a couple that. thousand of you guys to go back sure to Atlantis. Back uh, you mean Atlantis. Think that's what you meant. How do I know she wasn't suggesting we pull a double fake out of our own and dial her? Forget the double fake out. Get the damn crystal. I'll do the dial. Hey, what's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content, like this, very edit, for example, uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel, and in return, you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below, and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty, well that was Stargate Atlantis Season 1, Episode 9. Um, it was nice to see, um, you know, Hammond again. Although, it just really bothered me the whole time that no one was like, Hammond? What are you doing here? Like... Elizabeth Weir was literally the one to promote, uh, like, tell O'Neill that he was in charge. Like, you would have questions. Not a single question. That was the first thing. Like, that was straight up just the first thing that was like, okay, something's weird. We're just not gonna touch on it? Sure, whatever. Um. Yeah, bit of an odd episode. Um. Again, they're gonna kill a couple thousand of the people, but whatever. <laughs> uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.